Aha, we have a graph, so it's Oizerga time. O-I-X-I-R-G-A. The origin is right here. The y-axis is velocity, x-axis is time, and there is a y-intercept, which occurs at about, oh, looks, looks to be about 1.25. And there is an x-intercept, which occurs because uh, we have this kind of straight line here, both at about, oh, I'd say about 0.3 and, or 3 and 5. We can read velocity, we can read time, the slope is delta v over delta t, which is the acceleration, and the area is v delta t, which is delta x. We're ready now. Engineer measures the velocity at irregular time intervals, the data is shown in the graph, during which following time intervals did Descartes return to its position at time t equals zero? So we're talking about position, which is related to displacement. So. This is an area phenomenon. <clears throat> so let's look, investigate this a little more closely, the graph, that is. We can see that what seems to be happening here is that we have a constant um, acceleration. The velocity decreases at a constant rate, giving us this displacement. And the displacement is given by 3 by 1.25. And so one half of base times height equals one half of three times 1.25. So that's 1.5 times 1.25. That's kind of a messy number. We'll leave it at that for now. <clears throat> and we want to know when it returns to that spot. So that's positive displacement. If we look at the curve afterward, We might ask ourselves, is the velocity, the, the acceleration, the same? The lines do appear to be parallel to each other. So it looks like the velocity change is the same. So <clears throat> it looks like the velocity change is the same. So to bring about the same area, we would need to go the same distance along the x-axis, which is, would be out to about 8. We need the yellow area to equal the blue area. This is plus 8, this is minus 8, so we expect at a time of about 8 seconds we would be at our return position. So definitely does not happen between 3 and 5. 3 and 5 is still at its maximum positive displacement. 5 to 7 would be in this range. No, it's decreasing, but it's not 0. 7 to 10, it definitely occurs there, and we do not need to go as far as 10 seconds. 8 is smack dab in the middle, and that's why it's choice C.